What's up creators? I wanted to make an announcement about a new model we added to Dream AI today. Well, it was a couple days ago, but we kind of added the last tweaks and improvements to it. And this new model is live. It's called Recraft version 3. It's one of the leading image generation models that's out right now. It's impressive. There's really a lot of things you can do with it. But one thing I really like is it has styles and it has either PNG output for certain styles or SVG output for other styles. And if you're selling digital products or you're selling print on demand products, being able to generate simple SVG based designs gives you a huge advantage. So I'm going to go over that with you right now. Let's just touch on it. So again, recraft version three, you'll see if you have this model selected, you have a style drop down, and we have PNG listed to the ones that output PNG at the end here. And the ones that have SVG, such as engraving, lino cut, um, Rizzo graph, pencil, pencil sketch, and of course we come to the top, the most popular would probably be vector art. But these are really, really cool. So I've already did some generations to save time. So this lino cut, lino cut or lino cut, however you pronounce that, is really fantastic for digital like cut files, SVG files that you're selling on Etsy. Uh, if you look at Etsy, those are very popular items. You know, if you're using the Cricut machines or whatever it may be, now you have a huge advantage because you can turn on parallel prompts, use the My Designs GPT, generate a list of all the dog breeds. Um, saving my designs and just so much you can do. But I'll touch on some of that today. Um, of course, now with SVGs, you could scale it to whatever resolution you like. It's always going to be 300 DPI. So another good advantage there if you're selling print-on-demand products and want a really high-quality print for the end customer. But that being said, so very simple prop, prompt here, a Cocker Spaniel dog portrait wearing sunglasses, highly detailed digital art, white background. I put white background in there because I essentially wanted this to be black, the actual design itself. So as you can see here, these are great. Uh, perfect little cut files. And I'll go into this in a little bit more detail. I was trying out different uh, models here. This one's still the Lino Cut model. Um, let's keep going. This one is actually, let me click this, to load an illustration. So these are PNGs. Very basic prompt, but look at the depth and quality of this particular design. It's incredible. So there's a lot you can do with this model. Um, these are just different styles. So this one would be the studio. Kind of trying that out. Uh, this one's the motion blur style. You see here, if you click this, it always will load the settings you used for this particular generation. So motion blur, really cool. Uh, this is, I, I believe, the bold sketch. Again, it like, looks like a coloring sketch, pretty cool. And by the way, you can see if it's PNG or SVG now at the bottom of these generations through this model. So this one here would be your risograph. I think I'm saying that right, risograph, risograph. Um, different style there. This one is the pencil sketch, another really good one. The one I like the best is that Lino Cut because I'll show you in a minute with our Canvas Editor because it can support SVGs. You can change the colors. You can turn white alpha layer like the background to the transparency layer to zero. And then you just have a design that's really, really good. This one's SVG as well, but look at the details. That's going to be a pretty heavy SVG because there's so many cuts. Uh, that's engraving, but I want to show you some of the possibilities here. Mostly covered in SVG. This is vector art. And because my prompt's so simple, it really doesn't have a whole lot of colors. But you can kind of give it, it can give it some ideas to get more colors and stuff, and you get a lot more colors in these SVGs. This one, again, I believe is the Lino Cut. Let's keep going. Another Lino Cut. And I was just trying a little bit different prompt here. Same thing, same model. Got the bow tie, etc. Now, these are really cool. You could just select them, save them to your collection as SVGs. Then you can do whatever you want. You could scale them up for print on demand products, or you could prepare them to sell as digital products on Etsy. I'm telling you guys, you have a huge advantage with this model and my designs. So let's go over to Canvas because I want to show you particularly the SVGs here. So let's go up to Canvas, go to Dream AI. I'm going to turn background off so it's transparent. Now let's go through some of these Lino Cut ones. Again, you could select this to see what the settings are. So if I select this, it has the white background, right? And if you're going to remove background with SVGs, I don't think you can with our background remover. Uh, but if you, if you can, it's going to output as a PNG file. Now, you want to keep SVG, obviously, right? So you could select this within our Canvas Editor. Go to the Colors. You see there's black and white. So the rest of this is black, but all the white is uh, just right here. So if I want to change the white, you get the idea, right? But more importantly, I could turn the alpha uh, channel layer clear to zero, which is transparency. And now you have a really high-quality cut file or SVG file. And it's impressive because... You got the transparency here, which a lot of people prefer. And if you try to do that manually, it's a lot of work. So now you can just do that quickly within our Canvas editor. You have really high quality SVG. So whatever product you put this on, all this transparency 
will show the color of the product behind, which is really popular design technique that a lot of people do through print on demand and through digital products. So to give you an example, let me turn the background on. And now of course we could just change that color. And you see that's gonna come through everywhere. And now another thing, uh, let's turn background, let's go select background, turn it off, select this and let's adjust the black. Now of course you can always adjust the color of the actual SVG itself and still save it as SVG, download as SVG, uh, sell it as an SVG, whatever it is you're doing. So I'll kind of give you an example there. Now let me go back one more point. Um, let's go back to colors, go back to black and gradients. So we support gradients here within our canvas editor and you don't see that a lot, especially around SVGs. So I can change this color. Let's go to like a light blue and the red maybe will go to a purple. Kind of show you some examples here. And you can also adjust the radius of how this appears. That's, we need to probably improve that because it's, it's jumping all over the place. You can also change it from linear to radial, so it's more like a circle. Um, different things you can do there. You see where that circle is starting and appearing. It's not perfect, but you can do gradients as well. Now, gradients do not print well, obviously, for print on demand products, so I don't recommend that. But for digital products, I've actually sold gradients that I set up manually. There was a lot of work in the past, and they did really well, like beach locations, etc. But yeah, I just wanted to kind of show that to you, cover this model, show you some of the examples, some of the outputs here. It's a really impressive model. Again, if you're selling digital products or print-on-demand products, I definitely highly recommend you experiment with this. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of great things you can do with it. If you have any questions, let me know by leaving a comment below. But enjoy.